Hi guys, welcome to the review of Asus Zenfone 9, so, let's get started. This is a new Asus flagship, the Asus Zenfone 9. Last year's model also had a pint-sized form factor, so what's new this time around? Let's find out in our full review. These days the trend is toward larger device with bigger screens, but there's still a market for something both easily pocketable and has the cutting-edge specifications flagships. The Zenfone 9 is about the same size as last year's model. There's a bigger battery limit and main camera this time around. The Zenfone 9 has a flat back panel made of plastic and the aluminum frame is flat. The Zenfone 9 has a IP68 resistance against water and dust, and the back panel feel rubbery which provide extra grip. The screen is a 5.9-inch mold with a 1080p resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate. Because of its small size it's very sharp at 445 pixels per inch. Contents looks great here if you not mind a smaller picture. There's incredible contrast and HDR10 Plus support. The colors are not accurate. Now on to the brightness. We estimated a limit of 450 nits with a manual slider and this can boost up to 830 nits in auto mode when in bright sun. There's a 240Hz touch sampling rate on this display for extra responsiveness, and the 120Hz refresh rate smooths your swiping and scrolling. When you're not using the screen it will dial down to 60Hz to save energy. There a side-mounted fingerprint reader built into the power button, and it has extra functions this time around. You can use it as a smart key and it can access shortcuts not only through a double or long press, but by swiping it too. For sound, the Zenfone 9 has a traditional headphone jack, and there's also a pair of stereo speakers with the earpiece acting as the second speaker. The loudness is great in our test. The sound quality is great with clear vocals, decent high pitch and noticeable lows. The Zenfone 9 comes with 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage on board and that is not expandable through micro SD. One of the major update the Zenfone 9 brings is the chipset. The Zenfone 9 had a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. This means you get a great performance compared with the past model. Benchmark scores are among the highest we've seen for an Android phone. There's no thermals throttling in our stress test due to advanced passive cooling system. The Zenfone 9 actually works great in our CPU sustained performance test. The Zenfone 9 also has a bigger battery limit than last year at 4300 mAh large battery. The battery duration has improved. The Zenfone 9 scored an endurance rating of 108 hours in our exclusive test. The Zenfone 9 comes with the same 30 watt charger like last year and the charging speed is great. We were able to charge from 0 to 57% in 30 minutes. There is no wireless charging here. Now onto the cameras. There's a new 50 megapixel main camera with a Sony IMX 766 sensor, advanced phase detection autofocus and 6 axis gimbal stabilization. Then there's the 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with autofocus which is same as last year. Photos from the main camera are very decent. There's a lot of detail, incredible colors, high contrast and the dynamic range is very excellent. When pixel peeping portrait shots come out with a slight cropped zoom, which makes for a more pleasant shooting distance and perspective but you lose a bit of sharpness. But still these look great with capable subject separation speaking of cropped zoom, since there's no telephoto camera. The ultra-wide camera is more natural than the main camera. This is actually one of the better ultra-wides. There's a likable colors and the dynamic range is strong. Since the camera has autofocus you can use it to shoot close-up shots as well. Selfies from the 12 megapixel front camera are perfect. There's excellent detail, saturated colors and wide dynamic range. This camera has autofocus so the subject always comes out sharp. The Zenfone 9 can record video with this main camera up to 8K resolution at 24fps. The quality of the 8K is nothing special. 4K clips from the main camera are very decent, they have a lot of detail, high contrast, low noise and vivid colors. The ultra-wide camera is one of the better ones we've seen. When it comes to 4K video it's sharp and detailed with a lot of contrast and lovely colors. The ultra-wide performs very well with stabilization. So, that is the ASUS Zenfone 9. Very much like last year it's really incredible how they fit all great flagship features within this thin body. And this time you get a better main camera with great stabilization. Improved battery duration and the latest chipset. The main criticizes we have are that there's no telephoto camera and no wireless charging. So guys, if you need a cutting-edge pocket-friendly flagship, the Zenfone 9 is worth recommendation. I hope you enjoy the video, thanks for watching guys, and see you on the next one.